Well, you can't see it, smell it, or taste it. But according to the EPA, radon is a leading cause of lung cancer in non smokers. Now, state law has changed in hopes of protecting your children from it at school. State of Spirit Chief David Williams takes a closer look inside the classroom. Radon can seep through the ground, up through the concrete, and into your child's school. You wouldn't know it unless the school is tested. Inside Fisher's Cumberland Road Elementary, everybody knows Bridget Westerfield. When you bring me your kids, they become mine when they're here, so that's right. I treat them like my own. As the assistant principal, she's aware of the testing Hamilton Southeastern Schools does. I feel very fortunate that our district has um, been monitoring right on and that that's one less thing that I have to worry about as a mom. Now, state lawmakers want more districts to test as well. Wednesday, Governor Eric Holcomb signed a bill into law that requires the state's health department to give each public school district a best practices manual for indoor air quality management and radon testing recommendations every three years. I'm very excited Governor Holcomb signed this bill because now more schools are going to be testing. They're going to have more knowledge out there. Bob Rice is very aware of the dangers of radon. The first time that you know you've had radon exposure is probably when you're getting diagnosed with lung cancer because it's going to build up in your body over years. He's the radon guy at HSC schools. I make sure our schools are safe for our students and our teachers. By testing each school every five years, this year four schools were tested. All were found safe. In his eyes, the bill's a win. And now students and staff across the state are going to be safer. So they can breathe clean air in school and come home to you safely. This new law takes effect July 1st. In Fishers, I'm David Williams, Wish TV, News 8.